Now, one of the biggest issues with any Amazon device is always the storage. Now, these devices only come with about five or so gigs of free space. And when you do install a couple of applications, that space quickly runs out. Now, fortunately on the newer devices like the second generation Fire TV Cube or the 4K Fire Stick Max, they have made the process a little bit easier where you plug in a drive with an OTG cable to your device. You then see a prompt like this. I can now say that I want to format this drive as device storage. Click on yes. And what this now means that my device can now use this new USB drive for me to install applications to or even move applications to. Now this sounds really good in theory, but in reality, we can see I now have all of this extra space, nearly 16 gigs, but when I now go to my applications, and let's say for example, I want to move uh, this Analyti, which is a great way for you to check your internet speed, click on that. But we can see guys, there's no option to actually move this application. And what you'll find is any application that you install from the Amazon App Store, like for example, Netflix, None of these applications from the Amazon App Store give you the option to move them over to your USB storage. Well, in this video today, let me show you a super easy method that will allow you to move any application that you've installed from any App Store over to your USB storage. And this process will not require any typing or any ADB commands. And it really is the easiest and fastest way to get these applications over to your USB drive. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now, before we start the video, can I just ask you to double check to make sure that you are subscribed, you have hit the bell with all notifications, and this will be the best way for you to stay up to date with all of the videos that I post on this channel, which will be those supplementary videos, bonus content, and live streams. So do double check to make sure you don't miss out. Thank you. Now to start this process, we need to get just one file from our website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402, go to my site, click on the search icon, and then just type in me explore or you can just type in MI, click on next, scroll down and you're looking for this Mi Explore version 6.49. Let's click on that, scroll down and click on this green download button. Now this is a great file manager which has lots of great features, including the ability to actually create a server on your device, which you can then send files wirelessly from any other device on your home network. Now let's click on done. We can now delete the installation file, click on delete again. Let's now press the home key. Here's me explore. Let's open that up. As I mentioned before, this really has some great features. One quick one you can try straight away is if you just go over to your download folder, here we can see some of the wallpapers I've downloaded before. I can now go to the right, click on the three dots, go to servers. And in one click now, guys, I can say, for example, start this. This means now from any other device on my home network or my cell phone, my iPad, any device, I can browse to that address there. And this will then allow me to access the downloader folder from that device. So a great feature built into this application. But in this demonstration, we're interested in moving applications from the internal storage over to our USB drive. Okay, so what you want to do now is navigate to your applications by going to the left and going down to where it says app. This will now show you all of the applications installed on your device, whether they're internal or whether they're on the USB drive. And we can see straight away, here is Anatelli. So what we want to do now is press and hold the select button, this one here. I can now go to the top and click on this icon here next to the trash can, which basically means copy. So let's click on that. Okay, so now I can go back to the left and click on internal storage. And let's now go to the right and go to our downloader folder. I'm now going to paste the file there. So let's now go back to the top and click on the clipboard, which basically means paste. So let's click on that. Click on it again. That's now copied and there we can see the application there. Now that's done. I can now press and hold the home key. Go back to applications, 
Find Anatoly in the list, press the context key on that, and select uninstall. Uh, click on uninstall again. So application has now been removed from the internal storage. I can now go back to Me Explorer, click on the copied file, click on install, Give that a couple of seconds, click on install again. And in a couple of seconds, that should now all be done. And we should again see the prompt asking us, do we want to, there it is. That's now all done. I can now press and hold the home key, go over to settings, go to applications, go to manage install applications. And what do we have now? We now have the official Amazon application, but now all of it is being run from that USB drive. So it's not going to take up any more space on your internal storage. You can now happily move all of these Amazon applications directly to the USB drive. So do give a thumbs up for that. And it really is as easy as that guys. So any application you want to install from the Amazon app store, and let's search for a discovery plus, there it is, click on that. So it is an extra step to the installation process where you have to download it first, press the home key, we just to confirm once again that this application, because it is from the Amazon App Store, here we can see once again the application went straight to internal storage, which is expected. So again, I can open up Me Explorer. Let's find Discovery in the list. Here it is. Press and hold the select button. In fact, I'll also do Beach Buggy, which is also currently running on internal storage. Let's also make a copy of that. Let's go to the top, click on Copy, click on Internal Storage. And once again, let's now paste that inside the downloader folder. And click on paste at the top. Click again. Now should now copy two of those installation files to that folder. And of course, once you've finished, you can actually clear this folder out to reclaim that space. Let's now go back into applications and let's firstly uninstall Discovery Plus. So it's not going to be on internal storage anymore. Let's uninstall that. That's gone. And let's also find that game, uh, BB Racing, which is nearly 100 meg in size. Click on that. Click on uninstall. Uninstall again. Let's open up Me Explorer. And let's now firstly install Discovery Plus. One click. Click on install. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Firestick, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And let's now install the racing game. Click on that. Click on install. That's now all done. Let's now do the final test. We now see BB Racing is now running from USB and so is Discovery Plus. So, so all of those Amazon applications can now be easily moved over to your USB storage without taking up any more of your valuable internal space. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really do think that this is the easiest way to get all of your official Amazon applications from the App Store over to your USB drive. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. I'm really trying my best to get this new channel to 10,000 subscribers before the year end. So if you guys can help with that, please do double check that you are subscribed with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.